Hey y'all, it's Rosie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I make my slow cooker red beans and rice with smoked turkey. I'm starting off at my chopping board, and I have my onion. This is actually a yellow onion, although it looks white. I'm going to chop up this onion until it's nice and fine, or as fine as I want it, and then I'm going to set it aside, and then I'm going to start chopping up my celery. And the celery and onions were washed prior to chopping. Once we're done chopping everything, we're going to set these two ingredients to the side, and here is our smoked turkey. So I'm using a smoked turkey wing. You can use a leg or a thigh, just make sure it's smoked. Once we're done opening up our package of smoked turkey, let's set it to the side and now we're going to start adding our ingredients to our slow cooker. Let's start off by adding our onions and celery and we're also going to add in some minced garlic. I'm going to start sprinkling in my seasoning, starting off with some black pepper and I'm also going to sprinkle in some Cajun seasoning. So once I'm done doing that, I'm going to head over to the sink and I'm going to start rinsing my beans. Prior to rinsing my beans, I did sort through them. Whenever you have dry beans, you want to make sure you sort through them because sometimes they have little rotten beans and pebbles and they are always dirty. So again, make sure you rinse and sort your beans and not in that order. Sort then rinse. So now we're going to start adding in our smoked turkey. Again, I'm using a wing. You can use a different piece if you want. And now let's start adding our beans. I did not soak these beans prior to adding them to my pot here. They will be in this slow cooker for quite some time, so there's no need to uh, soak them prior. So now we're going to start adding some fresh bay leaves in there. If you want, you can use dry bay leaves, and I'm going to pour in some water. I'm using water instead of broth because there's plenty of uh, flavor in the turkey wing. If you want to use broth instead, that's fine. And our last ingredients will be some thyme. I have some fresh thyme here. I just took the leaves off of the stem and if you don't have fresh thyme you can certainly use dry thyme. So once everything is in there we're going to cover up our slow cooker, we're going to set it on high and we're going to let our beans and turkey and all the other ingredients cook for six hours. So this is six hours after everything has cooked. The meat should be falling off the bone. At this time you can start fishing out those bay leaves and again the, since the meat is falling off the bone you can take out the bones and the skin we don't need those okay so once everything is out there this is what should be left in the pot just beans and meat and now we are ready to serve so I'm going to show you how I like to serve my red beans and rice so I start off with my little bowl here I'm going to butter it and you don't have to do these steps this is just how I do mine I'm using brown rice so I'm going to stuff that bowl with brown rice of course you can use white rice I'm going to use a pasta bowl and at the bottom of my pasta bowl I'm going to add some beans in there and then I'm going to grab my bowl of rice and I'm going to empty it out in the very middle of the bowl. Once the rice is in there I'm going to start adding some more beans and smoked turkey but I'm going to surround the rice. I don't want to put it directly on top but again this is just how I do it. So any mess that I do make prior, you know, while doing this. I'm going to clean it up with a paper towel and to finish everything off I'm going to sprinkle some parsley flakes on top and that is it. If you would like the exact measurements for this recipe be sure to visit my blog iheartrecipes.com and don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'm always showing sneak peeks of my upcoming recipes.